Satnam, thank you so much for joining. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jean, and this is gonna be a collective reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you to everybody who has been like liking, subscribing, co-creating this beauty with me. I truly appreciate it. Really, really, you know, together we are creating a whole new world with the Ten of Cups for ourselves. Yeah, the more light we share, the more light we embody. Uh, the more light there is. As easy as that. It's not rocket science. The High Priestess. So beautiful. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Okay. What do we need to know for this collective? Oh, okay, before I look at that one. So, the sun. Wow. Yes, light indeed. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Look at this. This is us co-creating light. Every light being, every light worker, always focusing on self, always focusing on self-love, focusing on the on the healing that we can embody. And we're creating that. One, one, one. We're creating a new earth for ourselves, guys. Two of Swords, but it's our choice though. Do we, do we choose to collaborate with God? Do we choose to collaborate with the light? And I'm hearing somebody say, of course. Like, yes. <laughs> Well, that's why we're here. <laughs> um, so absolutely, the full Ace of Wands reverse. You might be expecting this. You might be feeling this new earth energy entering your life. I'm getting goosebumps. You might be feeling this new earth energy coming towards you. But I want to say, one for four, you might be expecting like a spark or a flame or something. Nah, you're getting some kind of full energy. You might be expecting a new beginning. You're getting something brand fucking new. This this is something that has not been experienced yet. This is something that hasn't been felt yet. This is something that hasn't been seen yet, okay? Uh, you are choosing the light. You are choosing God. And the light and God is choosing you, collective. You have chosen to collaborate with God. And God is saying... Yes, my child, let me bring you some justice. Let me show you how much I love you, two, two, two. Let me show you, I'm hearing somebody, I'm hearing God be like, let me show you what I can do. Let me show you who I am, okay? Nice, two, three, four. So if the king of swords reverse, if the seven of wands, yes. And the six of swords, exactly, exactly. The moon, five of swords, you are definitely, you are definitely the sun energy. You are this inner child. You are this innocent. You are this light. And you are here simply to share that light, right? You might have been dealing with a lot of setbacks. You might have been dealing with a lot of narcissistic energy specifically, especially since childhood, okay? If your childhood was really rough emotionally, if your life was really rough emotionally, it's because, again, boot camp, you were being trained, you were being honed, you were being taught how to be the calmness in the storm. You were being taught how to be the light in the fucking void, collective. And you keeping on choosing yourself, you continuously making a choice to collaborate with God, 333, three, three, Christ consciousness is leading to something extremely beautiful. You are sailing away to the new earth. You are sailing away to a brand new reality. I'm getting a lot of goosebumps. You are sailing away to a brand new reality. I want to tell you, you did it, Collective. You did the thing. You are successful. Ace of Cups isn't saying that. There is something brand spanking new entering your life, okay? So we have the Princess of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Emperor, beautiful, and also the Eight of Wands, beautiful. You know what I'm getting? Uh, this Princess of Swords, the Emperor as well, you are meant to be uh, seen. You are meant to be watched. Um, even if you are just walking down the street, even if you, like, I feel like people can't help but notice you, okay? Like, your inner light is so bright, Collective, because, again, of this collaboration, you're consistently choosing the light. You're consistently choosing innocence and healing. Your light is so bright, 444, that people People can't help but notice your angelic frequency. And that is meant to be. I'm hearing for a lot of you, 
you might go out in public and people always stare at you, people always watch you, people are always like um, very intrigued by you or they're very judgmental of you, you know, it doesn't really matter. I'm hearing Matrix agents. It doesn't really matter. You are meant to be seen and felt and experienced by the world. Again, it, whether you have a platform or not, whether you are putting yourself out there or not, it doesn't matter. Because even if you try to hide yourself, God is going to expose you in the best way possible. Even if you try to hide yourself and dim your light, God is going to make fucking sure that you are seen, okay? There is about to be a very sudden shift in your reality. There's about to be a very sudden, like you can even maybe expect some kind of message, okay? There's about to be a very sudden shift in your reality in regards to the four of pentacles, in regards to your roots, in regards to your home, in regards to your stability. Why I'm saying that is 555. Five, five. Imagine being a star being or an earth angel or something like that coming to something like that coming to this world with this intention of healing with this intention of shining light um but you are consistently in some kind of wobbly space like you can never ground yourself you 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 never had that opportunity to ground your light okay that is what is changing your light even if you don't have a home even if you don't have roots or whatever that light is about to be so fully grounded in your everyday experience that it's almost like like these are actually these eight of these eight ones are giving me like uh like like sun rays okay you are about to be some kind of a walking talking sunbeam no not a sunbeam you're about to be some kind of walking talking sun okay um this emperor is giving me god vibes uh like like creator like the god vibes okay this is god that has chosen you for this okay this is god that is blessing this energy onto you i feel like the message that you were waiting for is even this one you need to keep going because you are the sun okay and by that like interestingly enough i'm even being drawn again to christ like the sun the sun but also the sun you know you are that okay the son or daughter, you get what I'm saying, of creator, of God. Wow. You're about to be very, I don't want to say you're about to be very happy. You are about to be happiness, okay? You are about to be this full embodiment of light that like, I'm a UV ray bitch, better wear sunscreen. That's what I'm hearing, okay? You're about to shine so fucking bright that people are going to have no uh, choice but to accept your divinity. And as I'm saying that, the devil with the eight of swords, the lovers, you are about to shine so fucking bright. You are about to embody this divine light so intensely and in such a grounded secure way that even the devil um again this energy the devil is gonna have to pay homage to you um, i'm being drawn to that story of jesus and the devil where the devil comes like bow to me and everything will be yours and jesus was like nah fuck right off satan you know that's the energy i'm getting here and the satan fucked right off that's your energy very christed very 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 fucking bright collective you're not about to be happy. You're about to embody happiness. You're about to embody the actual meaning of light. And this is, this is, this is, this is ordained. This is chosen. The fool again by God for you. Uh, I don't like, I, like again, I'm not really into the whole being chosen and stuff like that because I believe that we are only chosen by God because we choose God. Okay. So it's not some kind of predestined, predetermined thing. Like it's always up to us again, hence this two of swords choice. But yes, you're about to be this. You are this already, but I feel like the world is about to like truly see there is about to be no question in regards to your claim on divinity or you just being a very divine being, okay? Ten of Wands reverse. Woo! This is this is this is the karmic old earth energy that you're finally leaving behind. Um, this is the burden uh, that you are f that you have dropped. I feel like God has taken this burden off of you. Um, thank you so much, Collective. I feel like that is efficient. Please do consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you again for another one. Satnam bye.